going, you guys? A new age here with a huge... It, that's the weird thing. It's not even a big... It's it's a small announcement, but a big announcement, okay? Roll with me here. Also, I want to say sorry if my beard is looking extra poofy. I just got out of the shower and saw this and was like, all right, I got to make a video now. Uh, today, we have got... Actually, just recently, which it's like... For me, it's like almost nighttime. It's a really weird time for Koro Koro to leak some stuff. Um... But we have some Koro Koro leaks of some new Pokemon, two new Pokemon to be exact, and I'm going to put those up on the screen right now. Um, so it's, it's just two Pokemon, but it's a big deal because it's new Pokemon. So first off, we got ne Nekoala. There's two Ks, so it's kind of like a Nekoala kind of thing, and it's, it's described as the half-awake Pokemon. Uh, so that's kind of hilarious, you know, best Pokemon ever likes to be half asleep during the battle, but it actually, wait, no, yeah, it does, because also, along with the new Pokemon, we have a new ability, which is pretty cool, actually, so, uh, Nekoala is the half-awake Pokemon, and it's also a normal type, and it has the ability, definite sleep, which prevents it from being afflicted with a status condition other than sleep, that is amazing um, so basically the only status you can put on this is sleep you can't burn it you can't paralyze it you can't poison it so it can be like a bulky wall that you can't toxic it can be a physical attacker that you can't burn or it can be like a super speedy Pokemon that can't get paralyzed all of those things are great and being asleep is not even like the worst status condition you wake up and it's gone or you have things like rest to heal yourself or sleep talk to attack while you're like asleep so it's it's not even like all those other status afflictions have special moves pertaining to them that make them not so bad they're all horrible except sleep so this is gonna be a really cool pokemon to use and i just got into competitive in x and y so i was really looking forward to sun and moon because i wanted to see what kind of new pokemon and abilities we'd have to work with so it is looking amazing so far um next up we got all right I don't know if everyone like saw videos about this. I didn't really make a video about it because it it wasn't like a huge thing. But in one of the trailers, I think one of the Japanese trailers, uh, there's a part where you're walking outside of a house, and I'll put that on the screen too because they actually added it into the Koro Koro leaks um, to point it out. You're walking outside of a house, and there's this random Pokemon just kind of over to the side that you don't really interact with. You just run past it, and everyone's like, well, "What was that?" What was that Pokemon? It doesn't look like a thing we have. And it wasn't a thing we have. It's a new Pokemon. And it is called... Where's the name? Damn it. I wish I could read faster. It's called Iwanko. I don't know if that's... That's probably just the Japanese name, not the English name. It doesn't sound very English. I don't know. Um, but it is a rock-type Pokemon. Um, and it is a... It's a dog. And it has the ability Keen Eye or Vital Spirit. Nothing crazy, just normal stuff. But, but, um, one thing that I want to say is cool on the, like, informal competitive side. Not even really competitive, but say early game, uh, gameplay-wise. This looks like one of those Pokemon that you find early on in the roots. I mean, it's right there in front of your house. Looks like your house anyways. When you start in the game, so it's like... You get a rock Pokemon right off the bat, which is pretty cool because rock is a uh, OP typing in the beginning of the game for Pokemon that only know like scratch and tackle and stuff like that. Uh, so unless they fill the whole beginning of the game with a bunch of water types and stuff, then you're pretty set. So that's really cool. And now on like the informal, not so competitive side, this thing is so adorable. It looks like a weird combination of like Zigzagoon, Poochiana and like center it all in one, which <laughs> it's so adorable. It looks like it has potential to be like the next Eevee or like the next like Greninja, how it's just a Pokemon from a new gen that everyone just loves. It looks super cute. I can only imagine all the fan art I bet I could find even already when this thing is only like not even an hour old probably. Anyways, anyways. So, those are the two new Pokemon, they both look amazing, no complaints whatsoever, and it'll be cool to see them evolve, especially too, because we have things like, um, what is it? Crap. 
Stoutland's Lillipup. There you go. We had things like Lillipup who evolve into like Stoutland, a big beefy dog. So that'll be cool to see if uh, this thing turns into like some rock dog. Like a Rockweiler? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Um, so, so a lot of things I'm looking forward to with these Pokemon. That's really cool. Uh, so I want to address like two more things. Not too huge, uh, but kind of huge. Kind of huge. Uh, stuff to speculate over. First off, Magyarna. Um, they have an event coming up for that. I don't what I, I don't know exactly what the event is. Uh, I guess attendees of the movie will receive a something disc that has a QR code on it, and when you scan it in Pokemon Sun and Moon, it will give you a Magyarna. Uh, it says it has the Soul Heart ability. We already know that. We still don't know what it does, but it does one of the things it does show. It has a new move called Fluor Cannon. Um, and it's level 50 and it's gonna have that new move as well as flash can and lucky chant and a helping hand when you receive it So, you know new move cool. It doesn't really give us any other information But you know Magyarna new move It's kind of like a legendary from what we can assume so we would have expected it to have a new move I guess just like how Deancey has things like diamond storm or stuff like that. So, you know kind of cool stuff um, and then the last thing that I want to leave you guys off with like I said, it's not a bunch of information, but it's some information. Uh, it says that Koro Koro hints that Rowlet, Litten, Poplio, and Iwanko all have a all hide a secret. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean because it's like the starters all hide a secret. All right, cool. Then maybe that's gonna point at some things like the fusion mega or not the fusion evolution that people are talking about. Um. You know, that would make sense. But then what the hell is Iwanko doing on that list? Um, so that's another reason why I'm thinking like this might be another kind of like, not Eevee in the sense where it has like all these evolutions and stuff, but Eevee in the sense that it's like a new kind of mascot Pokemon. And I guess if that's the case, then maybe they could like have you fuse evolution with that as well. I don't know. Uh, people were pointing out things about in the last league uh, with the Rodoms and stuff, how they have like bracelets that look like the uh, Fusion Evolution. You guys can tell me what you think about that in the comments down below as well. Um, otherwise, let me know what kind of secrets you think they could all have together. What could these Pokemon have in common? It's like the three starters, sure, but then this random Pokemon you just tack on there makes it a little random. Uh, but let me know what you think of the new Pokemon, their abilities, the typing, how they look, all that good stuff. And um, I'm not gonna make videos on like random updates for things I can't really talk about, but things like this where it's like, we have new Pokemon, you guys need to know about this, I'll be sure to make videos for it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, all that usual jazz that everyone else asks you to do. And until then, I'm new, I still keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.